And there are new questions coming out of Washington this morning about how to handle the crisis in Egypt. The country's interim president has announced plans to hold new elections in about six months. But that's doing little to calm the fears the country is descending into chaos. Yesterday was the deadliest day since President Mohamed Morsi was ousted. CBS News political director John Dickerson is with us. John, good morning. Good morning, Nora. You see the White House walking a very fine line on this. You have lawmakers saying we should end uh, this massive aid that we give Egypt. What, what take does the White House make on this? Well, you see yesterday the White House not calling it a coup. But, you know, when you have the military uh, removing the, the democratically elected president, people being beaten in the street, this is not a democracy do-over. Uh, but the White House can't call it a coup because it threatens the military aid. And, and all of the situations the president faces, whether it's in Afghanistan or in Egypt, it's about leverage. And the best leverage they have is this aid to Egypt and the connection that creates. And using that aid and the threat of removing it to get some kind of a post-coup uh, situation set up where all parties will have representation. The conservative critique is this isn't much leverage at all because if there's never any real threat the aid's going to leave, then it's not really a, a threat. Isn't it true, John, that most of the aid for this year, though, is already on its way there? Well, that's what Senator McCain said. Senator McCain, who said we need to withhold this aid, he said, well, most of it's already in the pipeline. And so as leverage goes, this leverage, a lot of it's out the door, but uh, it's the best they've got. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, we've just learned that the president is considering pulling all troops out of Afghanistan faster than he originally intended. This is in the New York Times this morning. What's that all about? Well, the White House says, look, this has always been an option. They talked about it in, Jan in January, this zero option, the idea of no troops being there uh, after 2014. And so the president's decision is not based on the biorhythms of Hamid Karzai. Uh, but there are plenty of other reasons other than Karzai's uh, mercurial response to things, his, his kind of blowing up the negotiations with the Taliban that were going on, that is a part of what has uh, the White House so angry at him. Uh, there are other things going on, though, which is marginal gains uh, for the still the continued loss of life, the difficulty uh, still ongoing with Pakistan. So the, the idea that the operation for other reasons is not going as, as well as planned. As you know, Elliot Smith was here yesterday talking about his decision to run for comptroller, a decision he made, by the way, over the weekend. And you wrote about it in your piece for Slate where you said he wants New Yorkers to give him the one thing that he has never shown anyone else forgiveness. That's right. What do you well, mean? Because well, he clearly said that's exactly what he That's wants. right. On the show, he, he said he wants forgiveness. But if you look at his career, this was not, I mean, he calls himself the steamroller. That's not a piece of equipment associated with mercy. <laughs> um, <laughs> and when he's running uh, for office, he's saying, look at what I did as attorney general. And that was it. We're hard charging, no uh, mercy, relentless. And, and basically, you know, voters, they don't need to forgive him. They need mm -hmm. to just not care. They need mm -hmm. to think he has skills and talents for this job as comptroller that are more important than anything that may have happened in his personal life. Don't you just find yourself after John's you're just writing down his quotes? It, it is a I, quote a minute. Yes. A steamroller. Yes. Steamroller. Not, not a machine associated with mercy. No. No. If you want mercy, you're going to have to go to like a backhoe or some <laughs> other piece of construction equipment. equipment. That's right, an interesting John. turn a of phrase, John. Again. The voters will decide. John Dickerson, thanks. Thank John.